Good day, Munir Ajam, one more time, with a follow-up video to the, to the video on the role of the project manager. And I'll probably be recording more than this follow-up video. One of the questions that came to us that triggered the role of the project manager is related to the question in situation where you might have what is commonly known as IPP, or independent power producer, uh, which refer to situation where uh, you would have a company, uh, it could be a company that specializes in building power uh, plants, uh, come to a government and said, look, we will be willing to fund, design, build uh, a power plant for you, and we will operate it as well. Uh, and sell you power at a reduced cost, and maybe after 10, 15, 20 years, we transfer it back to you. Or what is commonly known as build uh, BOT or BOOT, there are different names for this. And the question in this case came, said, okay, in those situations where you have a company that is actually building and will operate and transfer the plant uh, to a usually to a uh, or working with uh, a power operate uh, a power company uh, in the country or location where you are in that case so technically what do we have here we have a company that is building and will operate the power plant and maybe some year down the road will transfer it to the utility company in the area in that case would the utility company still have to manage that project well, obviously, I don't have a straight answer because that could depend on the culture of the organization. But in reality, um, I would say no. Um, let me elaborate on that one. You have the company that is building, designing, building, funding, financing, the building of the power plant. And they might be doing it with their own resources or they might hire uh, project management consultant or general contractor or construction company like we said in the previous video. Uh, so technically they are responsible for this. They are responsible for the cost, the schedule, the quality, all of the other matter. And usually in those situations uh, depend obviously on the type of contract between this company that is building uh, and the company that will be operating down the road in the future. So there could be some kind of an agreement, and that agreement will specify what needs to be done. So obviously we don't know, uh, we don't have a special situation right now where we have a clear understanding of what the agreements are. Uh, so we'll speak generically. Most often, again, I'm going to repeat, since this company that is going to design, build, and operate the facility for a while, uh, and usually uh, we would assume uh, and that would be a safe assumption that they will be using their own guideline and standard. So in this case, what would be the role of the utility company? Probably nothing except maybe liaison, or maybe they will be providing some facilities, maybe the land uh, and some other facilities. Uh, maybe uh, the agreement would require uh, the builder, the company that's going to build the facility to be done according to the standard of the utility company. Uh, so in that case, the utility company will need to have people involved uh, because they need to monitor and to make sure that the plant is being designed or the power plant or the substation or whatever power kind of generation facility exists, it needs to be built according to their standard and specification. So they will have some kind of an oversight, maybe more of a quality oversight. So they will, have, they will provide, in that case, the specification and they will provide some auditing uh, to make sure that is being done according to their standard. This is assuming they are involved. Often though, most situations, their involvement could be limited to nothing more than just some coordination and liaison. The real cost uh, lies with the IPP. Now that, if I go back to the role of the project manager in this case, uh, again, the role of the project manager of the IPP might be different because if they are managing their own work, their design, their construction crew directly, then that person will be directly managing projects. 
If not, they are managing through PMC and through design contractors and construction companies, then there might be more of an oversight on the project management while the detail management is being done by someone else. Um, so again, we we'll go back to the same scenario we discussed in the previous video. There is no single answer. The answer always starts with it depends on the contract and the relationship and other factors that might be considered. With this, I will end this video. Until the next one.